Amazon has just set its sights on NVIDIA and looks to push and shove its way into the AI generative chip creating space. AWS CEO Matt Garman says customers want choice which could give them some lower costs. Since NVIDIA has dominated the AI space with 95% of the market as of just this past December, Garman said that Amazon could possibly achieve 30 to 40% cost performance benefits over its competitor. Here he is on Bloomberg right after speaking at this year's AWS reInvent 2024. Customers want choice, and they want choice that can give them some lower cost options. And, and we think that for certain workloads, um, for many workloads, Tranium 2 can give customers 30 to 40 percent uh, cost performance benefits over uh, today's GPU powered instances. The new chip called Tranium 2 is claimed to be five times as powerful compared to other supercomputer chips and has already garnered attention from the tech giant Apple. The iPhone maker this past Tuesday endorsed the artificial intelligence chips, claiming that the new technology has led to a 40 percent efficiency gain. And and that Tranium 2 could be used in Apple's proprietary model Apple Intelligence. They were first to pick the highest hanging fruit thus becoming an AWS customer. I think the, the vast majority of workloads on, in generative AI today run on uh, NVIDIA technology. Um, and, uh, and they've absolutely been the leaders in that space. And so we think that that's a huge win for customers, particularly as they're looking to lower the cost of generative AI workloads. Uh, but we do think we hear from customers that they want choice. Um, and just with, with our processors, where we're tight partners with Intel and with AMD, but we decided to go build a general purpose processor called Graviton, and it's been hugely successful with our customers. But we also provide lots of Intel and lots of AMD uh, processors in our cloud today, and those businesses continue to grow. This all comes amidst Amazon's release of its new Amazon Nova platform, which is a set of AI generative tools that can take an input prompt and create dazzling 4K realistic cinematic clips. Garmin touches briefly on what his thoughts are on OpenAI. Look, I think it, my view is anytime customers demand something that that eventually uh, that sorts its way out. And I think um, OpenAI obviously has a great set of models as well. And I'm sure many of our customers would love to have those uh, available in Bedrock as well. And, and we'd love to support those there. Um, and, you know, I think I, I'd look at and we have a long term view on this. And over the long term, we'd like to make every technology available inside of Amazon and inside of AWS to use. And that means all of the models that are out there, we'd love to offer them in Bedrock. All of the software that's out there, we'd love to offer and make sure that it's available inside of AWS. Um, every service that, that everyone else and third parties are providing, we want to make uh, available. And that all goes back to that choice story. And mm -hmm. so um, in the fullness of time, I, I believe that we would love uh, open AI models inside of AWS. We, we absolutely, it's, uh, you know, we're, we, we listen to our customers. And if that's something that customers want, we're absolutely game. Let us know your thoughts on the direction Amazon is headed with generative AI in the comment section down below. Also, let us know what artificial intelligence technology interests you. As always, please subscribe to the AI Generation Next YouTube channel for daily AI news and up-to-date information. Thank you for watching.